Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4, Mario Nostrum, playing as Venice. <clears throat> I'm gonna apologize in advance if my voice seems a little bit messed up. Um, feeling a little bit under the weather today. I'm probably just gonna be exacerbating the issue quite a bit by talking into a video, but, um, you know, that's very unfortunate because I actually have to record some Stellaris in some time pretty soon, but... Oh well, we're gonna do it anyway because I have a schedule to maintain. So, last time, France decided to pull us into a war against Castile. Which does mildly suck. We don't have a leader. Do you want to get a leader? We're ahead of time on tech. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a leader. We got a 1, 2, 3. Uh, it's not great, but it's not god-awful. Let's go ahead and put him in charge of the army. We're pretty much going to take our army to go and help defend France. And then we'll jump in on... Wait, do I not have military access? I do not have military access. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we're basically going to use them to kind of help... Um, defend France. We're probably not going to use them too offensively unless we have some very low-risk options. Uh, Brittany is allied to the Papal State now. That's fun. All right. <clears throat> uh, we already are at 197 with Corfu because we are in a war together. This will go down below that once the war ends. We're still considering annexing them, and I think I probably will, honestly. But let's um, see if we can't get military access through Switzerland, my former ally. Thank you very much. And let's start moving the troops. We'll keep close to the French army, and we will jump in whenever we can to get some war participation, some war score, whatever the heck else. Maybe we'll help siege down Brittany. They're small. No one cares about them. Brittany received a gift from Switzerland. I feel like the AI uh, is far more inclined to <clears throat> uh, send gifts and try to kind of uh, sway a war in that way than they used to. Maybe that's just me, but it certainly would seem that way. So, Mr. Pope, um... We can't improve relations with you because we're at war with you. Oh, right. We should not move our troops that way. We should get ready to deal with the Pope. Because the Pope poses a serious problem for me. Right. Okay, let's improve relations with Bohemia instead for a little while. I guess we can continue to top off relations with Corfu, so that's above 190 once the war ends. But yeah, let's get the troops together then, and let's be prepared to fight... The Papal States in the farmlands. They're going to have to stop here at Ferrara. We're going to have a pretty significant numbers advantage, so I feel like we're going to be okay. We're going to have two to one odds there. We are losing some fights with our galleys because the Pope is being a jerk. I need these guys to retreat. Go, 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 dock up. Dock up! Why aren't you docking? Okay, it doesn't appear there's anywhere they can dock fast enough. It certainly would seem that way. You guys dock up as well, please. <clears throat> so you have six light ships, six galleys, six transports. We could probably handle that, to be honest, um, if we wanted to. Hmm. Let's get these fleets together. We'll see if we can't squish them, because they're trying to kill some of my galleys. It doesn't look like they're succeeding. They're not sinking anything, as far as I can tell. Maybe one or two. Yeah, they did sink a galley. Oh well, it happens. But, um, yeah, mostly they're just kind of... What? Did they stack wipe that? Oh, come on! Pope, buddy, we were friends for so long! Now I'm gonna have to go crush you! Alright. So, <clears throat> 15,000 men over here, huh? Let's go squish. I don't suppose I could set, for example, Romagna as special interest... France, you wouldn't happen to give me that, would you? These are all interest. These are all special interest. Just in case you're feeling so inclined. Alright, let's crush this army. We should have some pretty good odds. We did have a river crossing, I think, which is unfortunate. No, we had really high maneuver. We don't have that. We have no problem. We should be getting massive flanking bonuses. Why are we taking as many losses as we are? An army revisor has died. That's too bad. To the colors! We get manpower recovery speed and reinforce speed. That's actually really, really good for us right now. We get that for 10 years. Nice. Um, we inflict about six, 7,000-ish on lo in losses. It's kind of okay. Let's see if we can't chase their army down. We cannot. All right, fine. We will go to Romagna. We will split. Uh, we can't even do any of that. All right. <clears throat> well, we're going to have to siege down one of their forts. I would love to siege Rome. That'd be fun. The sacking of Rome. Corfu! Okay, they moved and I didn't notice, so we're gonna go save you. 
have a very large, lumbering, slow fleet on the way. The Battle of the Gulf of Bomba. We did not... How did I lose a ship? Corfu must have lost a ship. I think it was taking into account them, not me. Alright, let's chase them down as best we can. Serene Doge, we have some cord stuff now from Croatia. Good. We have one more still on the way, though. I'm worried about this manpower. This manpower thing's going to be a problem. Looks like France and Castile are fighting it out. That's sort of to be expected. If Magna has come under our occupation. We will loot it. Let's see if we can't head to Rome. Because I imagine that's where you're going. <clears throat> Trade conflict against them. Of course, the freaking pirates have decided to take advantage of the fact that I have very few galleys protecting. Oh, well. So, I see ships down here. Whoop. 24 Castilian ships. Mostly transports, though. I feel like my trade fleet is more than sufficient to protect against that. These transports will kind of keep over here just in case we need to. In fact, maybe I should pull them out and start uh, start sieging down in Kona. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Might as well. <clears throat> We're able to. Let's siege down what we can, while we can. As long as he doesn't move his entire army over here. And stack swipes them when I'm not available to protect myself. Switzerland is once again sending out gifts. This time they sent one to Castile. Uh, where are you going? You know what? Cancel. Well, maybe not. Okay, crap. This is a bad this is a bad plan. Can I? Yes, I can redock by messing with my ships. That's a little bit of a cheat. It's kind of an easy way to get out of this um, non-committal landing party, but all right. So you're just going to sit here and kind of look threatening at me for a while? That's fine. Go for it, man. You do that. You do that as much as you want. I'm going to protect from pirates in Constantinople now. That should be a relatively safer area. I don't think Castile wants to go quite that far out. Crete's already been looted, but Constantinople has not. Actually, maybe we should protect Ragusa. It's more likely that that's going to be a problem for us. All right, we'll hunt pirates in Ragusa. There we go. <clears throat> I am going to have to rebuild a lot of ships, I think, but... So be it. France, Friesland is sieging down. Corfu, I'm sorry, not Corfu, Brittany. Corfu is doing stuff down here. France is stomping on a couple of split stacks from Castile. I don't know. We got nine war score right now. So far, we're doing okay. Getting the Pope out of the war will be very nice. I actually should have these guys blockading now that I think about it. At least a little bit. Switzerland once again sent a gift to the Papal State. Gosh dang it, Switzerland, stop trying to skew the battle. You're cheating. I will not forget this. I feel like it's a telltale game. Provis will remember this. Yes, I will. Um, <clears throat> Bohemia, Salzburg. I think I was trying to make sure that you didn't leave the Trade League, right? Basically, yes. I don't think I care about you anymore. Uh, Hungary is friendly with me. Let's improve some relations with, I don't know. Let's improve relations with Naples for a little bit. Some of my neighbors that may or may not pose a problem for me someday. We'll improve relations with Florence as well, just in case. Just a little something here and there. Make sure no one gets too angry with me. Are we still rivaled to Milan? We are. We really should just fight them and humiliate them for some power projection, just for fun. I don't necessarily need to take anything out of them. I mean, taking some of their territory is required to form Italy, but... I think. Isn't it? I think Milan is one of the territories required. Hang on. Ah, uh, yes it is. So yeah, we'd have to take it eventually, but we could just humiliate them in the time being. Tlemcen got a gift from... Oh, sorry, got, France got a gift from Tlemcen, of all places. Genoa sent a gift to Castile. Everyone's trying to get involved indirectly in these wars. I don't think I much appreciate it. How dare you? Cardinal Minister. Papal Influence. I kind of like that. Missionary Strength. Yeah, we'll go for that. Absolutely. <clears throat> we could invest some points and try to have a good chance of becoming the Papal Controller. The Curia Controller, I should say. For the Holy See. A lot of good stuff can come from that, but... I don't know, is there something else we want to save our Papal Influence for? I mean, now that the Pope hates us... It's going to be kind of hard to get much papal influence in the future. 
It might be worth holding on to for like a stability or something like that, an emergency stability. I don't know. I'll think about it. That said, being the Curia controller does come with some um, pretty nice perks. The technology cost reduction is huge. Lots of money saved, yearly prestige, aggressive expansion. I don't care much about the Diplomat. And you actually do get a uh, stability cost modifier, so... You know, even if we did have to get that stability, it would be a teeny bit cheaper. It's not a terrible idea to become the Curia controller. I'd really love to see a mission for it, though. Incorporate Corfu. Right, they want us to do that. Oh, Regency Council in France. Well, it's a good thing you declared your war then, isn't it? <laughs> I really wish France hadn't declared this war. I was not in the mood to fight the Pope. Or Castile. Or anybody, actually. Brittany got a gift from Milan. Yeah, the AI definitely is sending out more gifts than they used to. Something has changed. There's the Siege of Urbino. This is the hills, so I'd rather not fight you. Hills, grasslands. I'm going to pull this way. And we're going to see if I can't get you to move into Romagna. And if you do, we'll jump on you in the grasslands. There's not even a river. Mm, doesn't look like you're interested in doing that. I could make a beeline for Rome. Castile. Uh, looks like Scotland has already been pieced out. Once again, Scotland is worthless. France, I don't know why you kept them. What do you think this is? Provis plays EU4 Common Sense Scotland? Now that Scotland was good. But this one, not so much, because I'm not at the helm. Alright, we have a single transport about to engage with 12 transports. That's not going to go well for them. England got a gift. Brittany got a gift from the Ottomans. Gosh dang it! This is nuts. Don't like it. Alright, if I move off of this, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to siege back down this fort. So let's move here. We're trapping him. He only has one way to go. Or fight us in defensive terrain. Battle of the Gulf of Venice is done. Alright. We'll allow you guys to repair for a little while. And that will be that. Papal State, I really would like you to make a move on something. Anything at all. Anything at all will do fine. Go to Romagna. You'll want to. If he won't, the question then becomes, is it worth risking him getting a defensive terrain in a hill so that I can siege down Rome? Which is farmlands. <clears throat> so that's a little concerning to me. Hmm. Mm. I don't know, actually. I really do need to siege down Rome. That's going to have to happen, right? But... I don't want to fight 14,000 men with so low manpower for no reason. So I'm just going to sort of sit back for a little bit. France is on their way. Hey, France, you want to go jump on them? Because if so, let's do it, and I will take down Rome. Yeah? You want to do it? Okay. We put the leader in charge. You've actually got a leader yourself. With siege value, actually. Let's see what you're doing. Yep, you're jumping on this. Okay, we will jump on this fight, and we will begin the siege of Rome... This should be easy enough for us. We have overwhelming numbers advantages. Yep, you're old and nine. It's pretty good. France is going to take the blunt, uh, brunt of those losses as well. All right. So now that you're retreating, we can stack wipe you. And that is that. Very good. Let us detach a siege. <clears throat> uh, we need 10,000, yeah? Nine. We'll leave behind 10 anyway. Uh, let's see. This is 9 right here. We'll leave behind one more infantry, I think. Some cavalry and such will leave it left behind. Cannons, we're good. Alright, Hungary just became friends of the Pope. That's fun. I guess France has more pressing matters, so that's fine. We're going to go siege down this for you. And not take the manpower losses at the end of the month, because that would be stupid. Poor Vintage! One of our prestigious vineyards has shockingly produced a wine of vastly inferior quality. Needless to say, people think less of our country for it. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? The pa Pope got a gift from Genoa. Castile got a gift from Milan. Y'all suck! I don't like this new thing about the, the AI giving gifts. Why don't anybody give me gifts? When I fight wars... When I was fighting Austria, why didn't I get gifts from everyone that hates Austria? Why didn't the Ottomans give me a gift? Well, the Ottomans hate me too. 
Why didn't the Bohemia give me a gift? Something, I don't know. That would have seemed fair. All right. <clears throat> well, there's that. Hmm. I don't really want to engage this Papal Navy if I don't have to. So I'm not gonna. Once we're getting, uh, once we win the siege, I think I'm just gonna pull my troop, my uh, ships back. Let's not fight them. Let's not take losses. Let's not repair. Riga joined a trade league. That's fine. It looks like Novgorod is trying to reform. That's fun. All right. How else are things going? Uh, I don't see any ships anywhere nearby. There are quite a few troops for Castile and Portugal hanging around. That's a lot of ships. France is gonna have a bad time up there, and England is sieging down Friesland. This is going to be a rough war. There's no doubt about it. I think France is going to be relying very heavily upon me to keep them afloat. Which I'm not a fan of. Truce with Liege. That's fun. We have rebels about to fire in Croatia now. You know what? Let's go ahead and start moving in troops over in that direction. Farmlands, grasslands, woods. Hills. Farmlands. Go here. I know it's a fort, so they're not going to siege down right away, but that is defensive terrain. We can handle them in the grasslands and farmlands if we have to. We can fight if we want to. We can leave those Croatians behind. I don't know. The trial. Uh, your eldest son is on trial for corruption and bribery. How dare he? There's no doubt that the charges are true. The conviction of your eldest son would be a serious personal blow. On the other hand, if we interfere with the trial and secure his innocence, bad things happen. Lose power, gain Republican tradition. Uh, 120 monarch points for... Well, let's see. What's, uh, 5 times 35? Um, carry the... F it's 175. So ultimately, it's better for us to just accept the Republican tradition and lose the power. Rather than lose 5. Yeah, no. Definitely better to just withdraw from public life and let him suffer for what he's done. Terrible son. Terrible. We do not want these Serbian uh, separatists to fire at all, do we? Definitely not. Lika actually is no longer contributing. They may not fire in Lika so long as we have our troops here. I'm going to take um, three over to Raska. That should be more than enough to force them down to zero. They'll tick away. Choose with Ulm. And we have more tech available to us. Diplo tech again. We are doing super well on the Diplo points. I definitely think it's time to pick up a... <clears throat> a diplomatic idea group. Once we're able to. Hmm. Pope is doing things over here. France... You're kind of split up. Friesland didn't get out of the war, did they? No, they're here. Hmm. So where is this stack going? They're not going to Calais anymore. I guess they're going to try to help siege down Brittany? I mean, yeah, start with the smaller people. So you can focus all your efforts in one area. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm sieging down the frickin' Pope for all you... Yeah, no. Mm. All right, um, who else should we make happy with us? Uh... Hmm. Aragon. We'll improve relations with you. I don't know if it matters that much, but I got a spare diplomat, and there's no reason to have him do nothing. Luca refuses the merchants of the Ottomans. That makes sense. Luca's a part of our trade league. Mamluks and their spy networks again. Once we get Rome, I do suspect... Whoop. Genoa declared war on Milan, huh? Government form war? What's a government form war? I've actually never heard of this. That's a weird. Genoese change government form of Milan. Genoa is trying to force... Oh, that's interesting. When did Milan become a republic? Have they always been a republic? I thought they were a duchy. It was a short-lived city-state government that formed in the duchy of Milan. An Ambrosian republic when the duke died without an heir. Oh, that's interesting. And now Genoa, who was a republic but is now a duchy, is trying to force Milan to change back? How bizarre! Never in a million years have I heard of this. Do we finish off our innovative ideas? Leaders without upkeep and the advisor costs would save us a bit of money. We could merc up if we wanted to. I mean, I'm actually doing okay on the manpower, surprisingly. We're still a few years ahead of time. Yeah, I think we just finish off the innovative ideas. Bam. Done. 
Even just without upkeep is okay. Advisor costs is actually going to save me quite a bit of money, because advisors are a very expensive investment. Serbian Separatists are ticking down. Croatian Separatists will fire, but when they do, they will be in grasslands, certainly. So let's see if we can fi finish the Siege of Rome, and then I'll call the video here. Kazan no longer considers Genoa a rival. We can do not need to improve relations with Florence anymore. How about we improve with Luca instead? Actually, let's improve with uh, Corsica for some reason. That seems fine. We haven't done that yet. 14%. We're making progress. Hmm. France got a gift from Desmond up in Ireland. That is so weird how the AI is doing that now. But alright. Hmm. Did not win that siege. The question is now, do I want to risk fighting the navy? I don't know how quickly France is going to piece them out. Might be quick, might not. I may have to fight them, and I'd rather not lose any ships. We could win this if we had to, right? I don't know. Freaking gifts to Portugal and to the Papal State. The Ottomans sent the Pope a gift. I'm just saying, that's wrong. We're going to keep our navy here. Um, and then we're just going to, whenever we're getting close to an end tick, I'm going to start moving out. As long as we're in the tile, we're technically going to be blockading. So, let's go ahead and start the retreat. There it is. Okay, and our fleet is going to get out of there before the Pope can attack it. Perfect. I maneuvered masterfully to make that happen. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and uh, get our troops out of here. Uh, we could siege, uh, loot the Pope for a little while if you want to. He got a bit of loot. Yeah, actually, let's just go ahead and loot them as long as we're allowed to. Rome actually has still got a lot of loot available. There's still a lot more in these provinces, though. Holy crap, 18 in a, a Rezo. A Rezo? I don't know. I'm splitting. Let's siege. Let's loot. Let's get money. Let's take as much away from the Pope as we can. I'm not convinced that Pope uh, France is going to get rid of them, though. I don't think they're going to knock them out of the war because they're getting quite a bit of war score out of this. And that's kind of France's insurance policy to make sure that nothing bad happens to them, so... Yeah. We probably should help siege down Brittany next, and then start moving on Castile. Or protect Friesland, one of the two. We'll see, though. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with EU4 Mari Nostrum. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.